Well, looks like that's not going to start. Definitely need to try and get that fixed as soon as possible. Well, it's about five in the morning. And I know we don't need to start till six. But I thought, best make a good impression. And we'll head there pretty early. But we're going to have to take the bike, unfortunately. Looks like I'm the only one on the road at this hour. So here we are, to our new job. And let's hope we can impress pretty quick so we can try and earn a bit more, because it is on the low side. But uh, I'm hoping that this will turn out to be a pretty good job and a lot more enjoyment from it than what I'm currently doing. So where's best to part this? I don't want to leave it in the way. I'm Still a bit new to this, obviously. And I think you won't mind, George won't mind if I park it here. There we go, that should be fine. He's probably heard me come, but we best go knock on. And uh, we'll see what he wants us to do. I wonder what our first job will be. Hopefully it'll be something pretty fun and interesting. Morning, George. I make it about half five so I'm 30 minutes early I thought it'd be better to come early than late so here I am what do you want me to do what's the first job of the day come inside I'll make a cup of tea and we'll go through some paperwork get everything sorted on that side and then I'll show you around the farm yeah that sounds like a good plan ah looks like the sun's come out a little bit now George it's a good day for it, it really is so what do you want to show me first well, I guess we'll just look around and I'll talk you through what's what's pretty much the job, what's expected of you. And yeah, they're just the layout of the farm. So follow me. So over here we got the muck pile. As you can see, it's a little bit messy. I've, I've properly neglected this. This is probably going to be one of your first jobs to do, sort this out. Uh, this is where you get the diesel. I get it delivered pretty much once a week. Uh, we don't use as much as we used to, as you can imagine. Um, I've pretty much just down tools recently it's been difficult to do this on my own so I'm, I'm thankful to have a helping hand uh, but that's pretty much it over here it does need a lot of tidying up but I'm hoping you can get your teeth into that and sort that out for me yeah I'll quite happily do that for you I don't mind at all I'm just trying to get used to all your equipment trying to get it in my head where you've got it parked and so on uh, but I'm pretty happy so far I mean you seem to got some old school equipment I do like it you can't go wrong with the old school. So now what you're looking at is pretty much the shed and the cow barn. So we've got six cows at the moment, six milkers. We don't do much anymore. We do milk them once a day. Not really needed for twice a day. They don't produce as much milk as they used to. Um, we're going to milk them once a day. Got a few storage areas and the shed directly in front of you. I've got a straw blower, um, a mower in there. All needs looking after, to be honest. That equipment's uh, seen better days pretty much most of it has uh, but if you find anything that needs major repair you come to me let me know we'll get that sorted ah so this is where you keep your cows then overnight do they go out in the day yep they go out in the day that's going to be a job that you do I'm going to expect you to pretty much feed the cows take them out in the day bring them back in at night clean them out sort out all that kind of stuff we don't do much baling anymore we've got some grass fields but just haven't got the time to work in in the fields anymore so maybe that's something that you could do to try and save us some cash uh six cows we don't really need that much anyway right so i'll i'll get i'll get that sorted then straight away i'll i'll make sure i get the cows out for you um i'll have a quick look in here if you don't mind ah so that's your straw blower and there's your mower that's a uh, Moa has seen better days. I'm imagining you haven't used that in a while, George. Right, so talk me through this equipment over here then. So the glass harvester doesn't even start, doesn't run. Not used it in absolute years. We won't need to even worry about that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's just pretty much 
an ornament at the moment. Um, I'm thinking about selling it to be honest, but you know, got a few good memories with that harvester, so I don't want to let go of it. So this is the Ford tractor. This is my tractor. You're not going to be using this at all. This is my pride and joy. So unfortunately, you're going to have to get used to the other tractors. That's not a problem at all. I understand that. That's fine. I think I can work with whatever you give me. At the end of the day, you're paying me to do a job. You're obviously going to supply me with the tools to do that. That's fine with me. So pretty much everything in this shed, we don't really use as much anymore. So you need to focus more on the other stuff. So let me just show you around here. Right, so over here we've got the shed that I store the bales in. We've got the Ford that you can use whenever you feel you need to. We've also got the load all that you've used as well. So all that pretty much is there for you. We can store the bales in here. As you can tell, we're running low. So we're going to have to sort something out with that soon. Uh, we'll go and pick some up from Tony's. Um, and uh, I'll introduce you to Tony as well. And then just down here, as you can probably tell, is the grass field. We take the cows out in here. We let them roam. We sometimes mow. Uh, but it's been a long time since I've had the the capabilities to go out and mow the fields and make my own silage or make my own hay. Uh, but I am hoping that you can start working on that soon, uh, especially this time of year. It would be a perfect time for us to do some field work. Now there is a, a muck pit there, so we're going to have to move all the muck out and store it over here. So that's going to be your first job. Ah, so the first job is for me to move the muck from over there and put it over into that muck pit. I can do that for you, not a problem. Um, I'm just trying to think, am I going to be taking it down with a bucket or have you got a trailer to help out? Yep, there is a trailer, but you're going to have to fetch that. So let me just show you the fields, my other two fields, and then I'm pretty much just showing you everything. It's, like I said, it's a small, it's a small yard, small farm. Um, we are pretty much basic at what we do at the moment. Hopefully with your help, we can actually do a bit more now. Just across here is our first field. So you can see, if we just hop over, you can see that it's seen better days. It's been a long time since we've been in this field and done any work. This used to be my go-to field if I was ever going to do any crop. Uh, but it's been such a long time since I've been able to do this. As I got older, I pretty much had to down tools on the arable side. Right, so this gate here is our other grass field. It's our main grass field. It comes off the main road as well. You can get entrance here. This again is our patch of land, but anything past that gate is mixed land. So keep that in mind. This is our grass field. And then this is technically an old arable field that we don't do much work in. Uh, so who knows? We might be able to turn it into a grass field. I'll leave that to, to something we decide probably later on. So if we just go over here, I'll be able to show you. Just shut the gate behind you. So that there's the trailer. It hasn't been used in a while, but it'll do the job. You can fill the muck up in this. You just have a look, look up on top. You can see that it's fine. You fill the muck up in that, move it over to the muck pit in that field. I think that'll be a good job for you to start off with. And that's pretty much the farm scroft. It's only small. I think we can do it together. Like I said, a lot of the work you'll be doing uh, but that'll also help out at times. So I'm going to leave you to it now. There's things I've got to do in the house. So make sure you let the animals out. Check the feed. See if they need cleaning out. If all that's sorted, move that muck over for me. And I'll leave you to it. If you need anything, come grab me. But hopefully you'll be alright. Yeah, I'll be fine with that. That's fine. I've done this before a while back. Uh, I'm sure it'll come back to me. Right, so. I've pretty much got the layout of the land. It's only a small... Small farm, but we can work with this. We really can. Um, and if we start impressing soon enough, we might be able to bring that pay up. So let's shut that. And we'll get back up here. Um, we need to figure out what we're going to do. And what we're going to work with. I know he said they left the keys in the tractors. So we don't need to worry about that. We can just hop in and out of what we need as long as we don't use the 7810 Ford. Because that... Uh, Seems to be an, the one thing we've got to avoid doing. You never know, he might trust us one day. I think first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let the cows out. 
Oh, they don't want to be stuck in there on this nice sunny day. Right, so that's the cows out. I've cleaned them out, made sure I've topped up the feed. They've got water in the trough anyway, uh, but they're out. So they're grazing out in the fields right now. Uh, so they're just down there. Uh, they look happy enough. So that's that job done. Pretty good going. Easy enough. So we need to now go and move this muck. And as you can tell, there is a big pile of muck. And it looks like it's a bit of a... Um, uneven terrain over here, so we'll try and tidy up from the edges probably first. Let's have a look behind here as well. It looks like there's some over there as well. We're not going to be able to get to that. It is a mess. It is a mess. Uh, but I'll take the I'll take the small Ford, the one we're allowed to drive. The steep nose bonnet, uh, and then we'll have to use the Massey to put into the trailer, and then we can hopefully tip it over there. We'll have to see how it performs. But let's. Let's get in this tractor and see how we get on. Alright, so. All looks straightforward enough. Doesn't sound too good, I'll be honest. We'll have to see how this gets on. Well, let's head over to that trailer. We'll get hooked up, we'll come back, and then we'll start working on this. It's a nice little tractor, this is. Perfect for this size yard. It really does the job. He's a good clean though. I think a lot of the stuff around here is a good clean. So that must be Tony's. It must be Tony's farm. So he was on about a guy called Mick and a guy called Tony, but I'm sure we'll obviously get to know them because it seems like they work together in the area right, so we'll leave that gate open because we're going to come out this way and there it is so let's try and back this up I don't want to do any damage ah so we've got an issue you can tell it's a uh, Definitely, uh, maybe I stalled it. Who knows? I could have stalled that then. There we go, that'll be fine. So we're gonna hook her up. There we go, seems fine to me. So let's take this back and we'll start filling it up. I think these tractors might need a good service, so I might mention that to, to George when I see him at the end of the day, just to, just to let him know that I think this tractor needs looking at this uh, I mean I think I stalled it then but in all fairness it could be getting to the point it needs a bit of maintenance there we go you can tell it's uh should have more power than that really I think we'll back it in and then it'll give us a good point to start filling it up from. Yep. Same again. Now I didn't stall it that time, so this is definitely something I'm gonna have to mention to, to George. I'm sure he'll have some guy that can come and fix this. We might have to drop it off somewhere, but it's obviously got an issue going on. I ain't no engineer to tell you what that is, or a mechanic. Right, so let's hope this one works a little bit better. Um, oh, this should see better days as well. Really has. Just about. Started second time and not the first time. So, get a full bucket load. There we go. Just about that. That's uh, on the limit. It really is on the limit. Bad 
both of these tractors cutting out. I have to mention this to George. If he wants me to crack on with this, we're going to have to try and get these fixed, I'd say. I think they've just been sitting there for a while, not been used, and they need a bit of TLC. There we go. That's first bucket in. Sure we can do this. It seems easy enough so far. Well, if we had a bit of reliability on these tractors, we'd be alright. I think he might be testing me again. I think he probably knows about this. He's testing me. Yep. We'll get this. I'm not gonna let it beat me. I'm definitely gonna get through this. So we're getting full, as you can tell. I think this is going to be the last little bit that I can fit in, to be honest with you. I'm not entirely sure I'll fit much in this. Yeah, I think that's full now, so not bad for a first load. I may have shifted a bit of it. There's a little bit, obviously, around this, the edges we need to try and fix, but I think if we just knock her off, that really does need sorting out. Both of these tractors need sorting out. I bet that 7810 works though. There we go. So we've got a trailer load. Filled it up a little bit too heavy at the back, but we'll be all right. Let's go tip this over at the. You call it the muck pit, but I guess it's just a patch of land in this field that's. Yeah, you can tell. It definitely looks like a bit of a pit. Perfect for a bit of muck good place to store it I guess at some point we'll try and shift it because he has got a muck spreader that I've noticed as well so I'll try and shift it at some point right, so that's not bad going at all first load in I think we're making good headway that must be Tony's sheep it's gotta be it must be some part of his land down there nice area really nice area Anyway, I best crack on with this. I'll do a few more loads. I'll stop recording with the GoPro and I'll uh, I'll make sure to focus on getting this shifted the best I can. All right, so this is my fourth load. We're doing well. We nearly cleared it out. There's a few bits that I'm gonna have to probably get the wheelbarrow and the uh, shovel for because it's just too tricky to get to with the bucket, but I'm sure we can sort that out. Um, I think I might actually ring up George now and just ask him if this works because if this works we may as well fill it up uh, and then you know show some initiative and ask him if he wants us to spread it on the field uh, because I'm guessing at some point we're going to have to do that anyway so let's take this fourth load and then we'll give him a bell and see what he wants us to do uh, but it is getting on now it's like 1pm so I'm starting to get hungry Doing all right down here as well. Plenty of space left. I'm gonna have to ask him as well what time he wants me to bring the cows back in. Uh, and the sun is blaring at the moment, so I'm hoping they're all right. But they seem to be perfectly fine over there. Uh, but yeah, let's just back this. Probably about there. That'll be fine. So we've got a pretty nice area up here. I haven't got a clue what's around uh, but it's not a bad field probably not the best to mow pretty good for the cows to graze on they look pretty happy yeah they look fine right, so let's get back I'll park it up I'm not gonna do any more from the pile and bring it over here I'm probably gonna try and tidy it up a little bit now with the wheelbarrow Also, we'll try and fill up, let's say, the, the muck spreader. But let's just part this out of the way. I think if we just put it over here, it'll leave us enough space to get by. That's the main thing. That's fine there. Straighten it up a little bit. There we go. I'm happy with that. Take out the 
Who's connections? BTO. Job done. So, what we're going to do first is... We'll get the wheelbarrow out. I'll do some tidying, but let's just quick give George a quick ring and see if we can start filling up the muck spreader. How are you getting on? Yeah, I'm doing all right, George. Just done my fourth load. So what I was thinking is I'll, I'll probably tie it up around the edges with the wheelbarrow now and uh, use the shovel. But what I was thinking is there's a bit left in the pit. Do you want me to stick it into, into the muck spreader? I don't know if it works. I was thinking it might make sense just to fill that up ready, put it on the field. Yeah, that's good thinking. Yeah, yeah, it works fine. Just, uh, yeah, load it up. Um, try and get as much out as you can in there and then uh, tidy up around the edges. Um, I mean, it is getting on now, so you'll have to come in and get some food soon as well. Yeah, no problem. I'll just quickly do some tidying up around the edges. I'll fill this up and then I'll be in. Right, so I think first thing we'll do is we'll, we'll get wheelbarrow out of here and we'll start using that I think that makes sense we're doing a pretty good job for a first day I mean it's not the best job in the world cleaning up muck but do you know what it's part of the job and we're making it look tidy it looks better already there's a few areas down by where he stores the bales that probably need tidying up as well uh, but I'm sure well, we can do it bit by bit as we get there uh, but I'll give this a, a quick tidy up now and then I'll start loading up with the Massey, if it starts, into the the muck spreader. Alright, so we're nearly empty. As you can tell, this Massey keeps cutting out. Uh, but we're doing a good job. For, for what we've got here, I think we're doing pretty well. As you can tell, it is getting quite low now. I'd say that's pretty much just the last drab. So I have tied it up around the edges as well. Uh, let's just see if we can get this in uh, but we're going to have to mention to George about uh, the issues we've got with this motor we really are uh, but I think that's going to be fine and that's tidy enough now it's never going to be perfect but I think that's not too too bad at all for our first job on the farm so we'll cut that off and you can see that uh, I filled up the bucket I tried to get around the edges as well I think I did a good job. I can't get around the back. I'm going to have to lift the, the wheelbarrow up and then probably get some help in hand to try and get it back round again. Uh, unless I just put the wheelbarrow here on the corner here and shovel it over. Probably the best bet. Uh, it makes it difficult because this is really uneven land. So you can tell that it's a bit... And he's flattening out, put it that way. Uh, but this is alright. Pretty much getting there now. We're full on that. So start her up and I'd say... Close that off and then we'll find another space for this. I did move out the uh, animal trailer. It looks like it hasn't been used in a while. So if we try and swing this back to where it was. I think that'll be fine there. That's, that's spot on to me. And again, hoses, PTO, drop her off. And then let's just we'll park this up here. We'll go get some grub um, and we'll speak to George about uh, trying to get these tractors repaired because it's making the job a little bit difficult. Right, so it's been a pretty long day, but I've just had a good chat with George. He's going to sort something out. He says he's going to speak to Mick. He says uh, Mick's pretty much the guy he goes to for anything to do with his uh, gear and equipment to get serviced or anything like that. Um, and Tony's the guy as well for some bales and I told him the amount of bales we've got left I told him we haven't got that many straw bales uh, only three and uh, same amount of hay um, he did say there's another hay bale sitting in the barn over here so we should probably just have a quick look on that just to make sure uh, but he's going to send us tomorrow to go and uh, speak to Tony try and get some bales um, he did say there was one in here ah it is, it's there so that's uh, another one um, yeah we'll get some bales off Tony tomorrow uh, but now all he wants me to do is ask me just finish off the day by putting the cows away, cleaning off this tractor. Um, and then hopefully he'll tell us a bit of a plan for tomorrow. Uh, but so far, I've enjoyed it. It's been a good day. So let's uh, go get the cows in. I'll bring them in, guide them in through here, put them away, and then we'll finish off by cleaning off the Ford. Uh, 
Ah, there we go. Got feed. Got bedding. All clean. Happy days. We'll shut them in for the night. Oh, and then I'll probably see them again in the morning. Right, so... Let's go find the hose. Did you see there was an hose out here somewhere? Right, so... Let's give this a blast. It's probably going to look brand new after this. You can definitely make out the chips now on the paintwork, but look at that. Looks so much better. It really does. And that's all it needs. It's just a nice blast. And we'll have to try and keep on top of this, because I think this is going to be the main tractor I use. And I want to make sure we look after it. Um, so we'll, we'll keep trying to push George and trying to get these tractors at least serviced. Try and sort out the issue with them both. Yeah, they they obviously need to be looked at and uh, hopefully... Just get them running. I mean, they are, they are old, so we're probably going to have to be serviced at least twice a year, I'd say. I think that looks all right. So I'll put the hose back and then I'll park it up for the night. Right, so I've just cleaned inside the cab as well, the best I can. I think it looks much better. Lenders were already sorted out when we were washing, but tried to wipe down inside. And I think it looks a lot better. So what we'll do is we'll just park it up. I'll probably just put it... In the middle of the yard, we're not going to need anything out in the evening, so I think this will be fine just to walk to you. Uh, we'll try and wash up a few other things as we go. Probably uh, wash up the, the Massey next. If I do get time, I'll wash up the 7810 as well. I think George might be um, appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, overall pretty happy. Nice little tractor, and it's done the job well today. So, we must be getting close now to six, so I'll go speak to George. Let him know what I've done for the day. Hopefully he'll be happy with that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll head home. Right, George, it's getting close to six now, mate. I've done everything you've asked. Uh, I've pretty much moved a lot of the, the muck over to the muck pit. Cleaned the tractor inside and out, so that's looking pretty good now. I've also loaded up the, the muck spreader, so that's ready to go whenever you want that doing. Uh, cows are fed, cleaned out, back in the pen as well for the night, so... I'm pretty much set. Wow, good job, mate. Really impressed with that. Well done. Right, I've spoke to Mick and Tony. Here's the number for Mick. Here's the number for Tony. So the plan is tomorrow. First thing, when you get up here, drive the Massey up to up to Mix. He'll sort that out. We're obviously going to have to do this in stages. We can't take both tractors because we're going to need them. Uh, but he's going to sort out the Massey first. Then what I want you to do is I want you to ring up Tony, ask him for a few bales. I'll give you some cash now. But I want you to try and pick up at least, I'd say, two hay bales, two silage bales, and maybe get a couple of straw bales. Um, and then I want you to bring them back. And then pretty much it's the same. Look after the cows um, for tomorrow. But the main thing is we're going to have to try and get some feed in. And also, let's get these tractors sorted out. Yep, sounds like a plan. I'll come here in the morning. I'll head up to Mix and then I'll ring Tony and I'll get that sorted. I'll let the cows out before that, sort them out, um, and then I'll crack on. I'll get that sorted, George, don't you worry. Right, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Yep, yeah, see you tomorrow. And Scroft, good job today. No problem, I enjoyed it. Pretty good day, in all fairness. So let's head back. I'm tired, I really am tired. Um, but I tell you one thing, this has been a lot more enjoyable than delivering groceries. It really has.